Hello everyone and welcome to my series of building a trip planner application with little to no power apps or coding experience. My name is Andrea Pinios, and if you've been following along, we've been building with the common data service and model driven apps. Today, we will bring our trip planner app to a user facing application using power apps portals. By doing this, we can give our friends and family a direct website URL to our app and they can start using it ASAP. I have already tested it out with a few of my friends. So join me or follow along as we continue to build our app. The first thing we want to do is navigate to make.powerapps.com and sign in. Once you're at the homepage, you're going to select portal from blank. You're going to give your portal a name and a unique address. I've gone ahead and created a portal already since it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for it to provision in the background. Many solutions and even a portal management application model driven app gets provisioned in the background. Once you have selected a unique address, you will select create. While you wait for that to provision, we're going to navigate to solutions. And these are all of the solutions that get added in the background for our portal. We're going to go ahead and go to our trip planner solution and then into our trip entity. And we're going to create a form specific for our portal. This is where we'll add all of the related subgrids. So we'll go to forms once we're inside the trip solution. And we're going to select add form. And we're going to select main form. Since we already have a main form for this specific entity, we're going to just give it a new display name. I'm going to say we're going to get rid of all of these tabs to make it simpler for us to add subgrids. So once we've deleted those tabs and we have all of these general fields in there, we'll go to this components tab and we'll select subgrid. We'll select show related records. And here are all of our related records to the trip entity. We're going to start with activities. So we'll select that. We can select um, all activities, my activities. I'm going to go ahead and select my activities all activities and that will get added there. We'll go ahead and add the rest of the related subgrids, including lodging, active lodging, good, to-do lists, active to-do lists. And these just get added to the bottom travelers, active travelers, and flights. After we're done adding our subgrids, we're going to go into each subgrid. We're going to unhide the label. We're going to change the label to each of the different names. So for this one, activity, and we're going to change the subgrid name to that specific uh, subgrid. So subgrid underscore activity for this one, lodging subgrid underscore lodging, and so on and so forth. Your form should look like this. Then we're going to publish and go back to the solution. Once your portal has finished provisioning in the background, you're going to navigate back to apps. And you should now see a type portal and a portal management app, model driven app. We're going to navigate to that portal management app. Inside here, we're going to go down to entity forms. Once you're in the active entity forms, you'll see that I've already created the entity forms that I need. I have one new 
entity form and one update entity form for each entity we have. So we have an activity lodging. This main form will be a little bit different from all the other ones, a to-do list and a traveler. Same with the update. The difference is with the new entity, the mode is insert and we've still connected to this activity form up here. If we go to the update activity, you'll notice that the mode is edit. The record source type is query string and we have added an ID. I'll show you why we need this a little bit later, but we've also connected to the activity form here. For this new main form, same thing for new, we've added the mode of insert and connected to the portal form. The biggest difference is this update main form. This is where we'll add all of our subgrids. So like all the other update forms, we have the mode of edit, a query string, and an ID. And we have connected to the portal form. The difference is you'll go to entity form metadata, and here is where you'll add all of your subgrids. To add a new subgrid, you'll click on new entity form metadata. You'll select a type of subgrid. And you'll select the subgrid that you need. So we'll go ahead and do the trip activities. And since we've already added this subgrid to this specific form in CDS, that is why these are being populated. So we'll go ahead and create this grid configuration. We can create an action for when a user creates a new activity, and we can select the specific form that we want it for. So when a user creates a new activity, we want a, the new activity form to be related to it. When a user asks to see the details, we want the update activity form to be displayed. Same with edit. And you can even customize your delete button. Say you wanted to say delete activity. You can customize the buttons for all of them. Once you've done that, you can save and close. And this will be added to uh, this subgrid right here. We already had a to-do list, but I went ahead and showed you how I did that. Once you're done creating all of these entity forms for new and update, and specifically update main form, you wanna go to entity lists. And you'll create a new entity list called main list, and it will look something like this. You'll name it main list, you'll connect it to your trip entity here, you'll connect it to the startup portal, and you'll add active trips as the view. Specifically, you want to edit the options tab here and go down to grid configuration. Same thing here, you'll add a create action and you'll attach it to the main, new main form. This will create a new form for this trip. And I've customized the button. For the action details, we'll select update main form. Same for edit, and we'll select delete trip as a custom button. Once you're done creating the entity list and all of the entity forms, you'll travel back to make.powerapps.com. You'll navigate to your apps, and you'll see this type portal app. You'll click on the ellipsis, and you'll select edit. The out of the box portal is a very basic portal. I've gone ahead and edited it a little bit. I've changed this text to trip planner. And now I'm gonna go and add a one column section. Inside of this section, I'm gonna add a list. Using the right hand side to customize our list, we're gonna select use existing, and we're gonna select main list, and everything will populate since we have already created this in the portal management app. We'll hit sync configuration. Once that's finished, we'll hit browse website, 
and I've actually already added a trip to our trip planner, but I'll show you how to create a new trip. If you click create new trip and you start inputting whatever you'd like here, we'll select Panama City and I'm just making this up as I go along. personal, leave the description as is, click submit, and that will get added directly to our list. If we want to get into the details of the beach trip, you can either select this arrow, update trip details, or select beach directly. And this will give you all of the general information here that we just added, as well as lodging, our to-do list, the travelers, activities. And if you click on any of these, say lodging, you'll see that it's the same form that we've added back when we were in CDS. And you'll be able to input all of these and select submit and it will get added directly to this uh, view right here. So let's go ahead and add a to-do list item. We'll name this lunch. Let's say I am the owner. That's category, quantity. We'll leave these as blank and hit submit. And I just want to show you what it looks like when it gets added to that view. It gets added directly to that view. And the same thing goes for all of the other subgrids and they're all related to this specific trip. Once you're done editing, you can hit submit and it will get saved. Thank you so much for joining today. I had a great time building a Power Apps portal for a trip planner application. There is so much more we can do to enhance this app, but you can start by sharing this app with others to use and play with. Looking forward to see what next week has in store. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for weekly Power Platform videos. Bye everyone.